Michael Schellenberger is an American author, environmental policy writer, promoter of nuclear lobby, co-founder of Breakthrough Institute and founder of Environmental Progress. He was named a Time Magazine Heroes of the Environment 2008, winner of the 2008 Green Book Award, co-editor of Love Your Monsters 2011, and co-author of Breakthrough Houghton Mifflin 2007 and The Death of Environmentalism 2004. He and his co-author Ted Nordhaus have been described as ecological modernists and Eco-pragmatists. In 2015, Schellenberger joined with 18 other self-described eco-modernists to co-author an eco-modernist manifesto. On November 30, 2017, he announced during a New York Times conference that he would run for governor of California in 2018. Topic: Career. Early career Schellenberger's early writing and activism focused on Latin America and he was introduced to activism and political direct action due to being raised a Mennonite. That work included the founding of an Amnesty International chapter in high school in Greeley, Colorado, and debating Latin American policy, for which he attended the National Forensic League Championships. He traveled and worked in Latin America in the 1980s and 1990s. In 1993, he moved to the San Francisco to work with progressive organization Global Exchange, authoring articles on Haiti, Brazil Mexico, Gulf War Syndrome, and Affirmative Action. At UC Santa Cruz, he helped organize a graduate students' union and defend affirmative action. Later he co-founded Communication Works, an allied progressive public relations organization, which worked on a wide range of campaigns, from challenging Nike over its labor practices in Asia, to saving the Headwaters Redwood Forest. In 2002 Schellenberger co-founded the consulting firm Lumina Strategies. Its clients included Global Exchange, Americans United for Affirmative Action, the Ford Foundation, the Sierra Club, and the Venezuelan Information Center. In 2005 Schellenberger and Nordhaus co-founded American Environics, whose clients include AARP, Earth Justice, the Ford Foundation, and the Nathan Cummings Foundation. Topic. Breakthrough Institute Schellenberger was president and a senior fellow at the Breakthrough Institute, which he co-founded with Ted Nordhaus in 2003. Today, Breakthrough Institute consists of a policy staff, an annual conference, a policy journal, and a network of affiliated fellows. Breakthrough Institute's analyses of energy, climate and innovation policy have been cited by National Public Radio The Wall Street Journal and C-SPAN. As part of his role at Breakthrough, Schellenberger has co-authored analyses of cap-and-trade climate legislation, of the «planetary boundaries» hypothesis, energy rebound from energy efficiency measures, carbon pricing, renewable energy subsidies, nuclear energy, and shale gas. The Institute has conducted research showing that shale gas and other major technological innovations were created by American government institutions and public financing. The Institute advocates higher levels of public spending on technology innovation, which they argue will lead to higher environmental quality, economic growth, and quality of life. The Institute argues that climate policy should be focused on higher levels of public funding on technology innovation to "...make clean energy cheap." 
and has been critical of climate policies like cap and trade and carbon pricing that are focused primarily on raising energy prices. Environmental progress In February 2016 it was revealed that Schellenberger had relinquished his position as president of the Breakthrough Institute, to run a new organization, Environmental Progress, which is behind several public campaigns. Topic Save Diablo Canyon campaign In January 2016, alongside several other authors of an eco-modernist manifesto, including Robert Stone, David Keith, Stuart Brand and Mark Linus, as well as Kerry Emanuel, James Hansen, Steven Pinker, Stephen Tyndale and Burton Richter, Schellenberger signed an open letter urging officials not to close the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant. It was addressed to California Governor Jerry Brown, the CEO of Pacific Gas and Electric and California state officials. <laughs> Save Illinois Nuclear in April 2016, Schellenberger, alongside other conservationists and scientists, including James Hansen, Stuart Brand, Nobel laureate Burton Richter, Kerry Emanuel and Mark Linus—signed an open letter urging against the closure of the six operating nuclear power plants in Illinois, Braidwood, Byron, Clinton, Dresden, LaSalle, and Quad Cities. Together, they account for Illinois ranking first in the United States in 2010 in both nuclear capacity and nuclear generation, and generation from its nuclear power plants accounted for 12% of the United States total. In 2007, 48% of Illinois' electricity was generated using nuclear power. Topic. Save New York Nuclear In July 2016, an open letter signed by climate scientists, scholars, environmentalists and concerned citizens was sent to Governor Andrew Cuomo and leaders within New York's Public Service Commission, urging them to support legislation that would protect New York's nuclear plants from closure, including the Indian Point nuclear power plant. In August, Cuomo announced that the PSC had formally approved a Clean Energy Standard say, that explicitly recognizes the zero-carbon contribution of nuclear power plants. <laughs> <laughs> South Korea in July 2017, Schellenberger, with colleagues and associates of Environmental Progress sent an open letter to South Korean President Moon Jae-in urging him to reconsider his nuclear phase-out proposal, given the importance of South Korea's nuclear program to protecting the climate. In August 2017 a comprehensive report, The High Cost of Fear was published, outlining the likely impacts on South Korea of that proposal. In October 2017, a South Korean citizen's jury voted to restart the construction of two halted nuclear reactors. <laughs> <laughs> Position on renewable energy In 2017, Schellenberger told The Australian, like most people, I started out pretty anti-nuclear. I changed my mind as I realised you can't power a modern economy on solar and wind. All they do is make the electricity system chaotic and provide greenwash for fossil fuels. Writings In 2004, Nordhaus and Schellenberger, both longtime strategists for environmental groups, co-authored a controversial essay, 
The Death of Environmentalism, Global Warming Politics in a Post-Environmental World the paper argues that environmentalism is conceptually and institutionally incapable of dealing with climate change and should «die» so that a new politics can be born. The essay was debated, and continues to be widely discussed and taught. In 2007, Houghton Mifflin published Nordhaus and Schellenberger's Breakthrough From the Death of Environmentalism to the Politics of Possibility. Houghton Mifflin, 2007. Wired magazine called Breakthrough, the most important thing to happen to environmentalism since Silent Spring. The book is an argument for what its authors describe as a positive, post-environmental politics that abandons the environmentalist focus on nature protection for a new focus on technological innovation to create a new economy. Time magazine named Nordhaus and Schellenberger two of its 32 Heroes of the Environment 2008, calling breakthrough, prescient for its prediction that climate policy should focus not on making fossil fuels expensive through regulation but rather on making clean energy cheap. Breakthrough was awarded the Green Book Award, 2009, whose other recipients include E.O. Wilson and James Hansen, their writings have focused on the intersection of climate change, energy innovation, and politics. The two predicted the failure of cap and trade for its focus on making fossil fuels expensive rather than on technology innovation to make clean energy cheap. They faulted the Kyoto Climate Treaty for being focused on what they called, "...shared sacrifice", rather than shared technological innovation. They have criticized green cultural life as a consequence of status anxieties among Western consumers. And they have argued for a «theology» of ecological modernization that embraces technological innovation and human development. Nordhaus and Schellenberger have argued for a «climate pragmatism» and an embrace of modernization and human development. They are co-authors of an alternative framework to the United Nations process focused on energy innovation, pollution control and adaptation. In 2011, Nordhaus and Schellenberger started the Breakthrough Journal, which the New Republic called among the most complete efforts to provide a fresh answer to the question of how to modernize liberal thought, and the National Review called the most promising effort at self-criticism by our liberal cousins in a long time. Topic: <laughs> An eco-modernist manifesto. In April 2015, Schellenberger joined with a group of scholars in issuing an eco-modernist manifesto. This proposes dropping the goal of sustainable development and replacing it with a strategy to shrink humanity's footprint by using nature more intensively. The authors argue that economic development is, in fact, an indispensable precondition to preserving the environment. The other authors were John Asafu Ajay, Linus Blomkvist, Stuart Brand, Barry Brook. Ruth DeFries, Earl Ellis, Christopher Foreman, David Keith, Martin Lewis, Mark Linus, Ted Nordhaus, Roger A. Pielke Jr. Rachel Pritzker, Joyashree Roy, Mark Sagoff, Robert Stone, and Peter Teague. Reception The writings of Schellenberger have been praised and criticized. Wired magazine wrote that Breakthrough "...could turn out to be the best thing to happen to environmentalism since Rachel Carson's Silent Spring." The Wall Street Journal wrote if heeded, Nordhaus and Schellenberger's call for an optimistic outlook, embracing economic dynamism and creative potential, will surely do more for the environment than any UN report or Nobel Prize. 
former Sierra Club executive director Carl Pope, wrote, "...I am deeply disappointed and angered by the death of environmentalism," which he called, "...unclear, unfair and divisive." He said it contained multiple factual errors and misinterpretations but conceded the authors made, "...one extremely compelling point," that, "...the environmental community had still not come up with an inspiring vision, much less a legislative proposal, that a majority of Americans could get excited about." Former Greenpeace executive director John Passacansando said, referring to both Schellenberger and his co-author Ted Nordhaus, "...these guys laid out some fascinating data, but they put it in this over-the-top language and did it in this in-your-face way." Michel Gelabter and others with an environmental justice perspective criticized death for not addressing the concerns of poor people who were not white, and wrote The Soul of Environmentalism, rediscovering transformational politics in the 21st century in response. <laughs> Personal life Schellenberger was raised in Greeley, Colorado and attended college at Earlham College, a Quaker school in Richmond, Indiana. He went on to receive a master's degree in cultural anthropology from the University of California, Santa Cruz. Schellenberger has two children and resides in the San Francisco Bay Area. See also Bright green environmentalism